All right, you're trying to figure out how to finish the Great Egg Hunt program in LB The Show 23 and get that sweet, sweet Reggie Jackson at the end. Well, I'm not going to waste your time. Let's get into the fastest way to get that done. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've got the 97 Reggie Jackson as well as the George Springer, Catfish Hunter, and Bregman. So let's get started with egg number one. For egg number one, this is the easiest. Back completely out of Diamond Dynasty. Go all the way down to Moments in the main menu. Click on Other Programs. And then the Great Egg Hunt. There'll be five moments here on Veteran that are all pretty simple. Once you complete all five of these, you will be granted egg number one. All right, so load back into Diamond Dynasty. Go over to the program and turn in egg number one. That's going to get you 10 program points. That will give you Catfish Hunter, which is important because we're going to need him very shortly. All right, now for this, in my opinion, the fastest way to get this done, unless you want to complete the whole thing, and I understand, I'll show you how to do it in just a second. But if you're just looking for all of the players, including Reggie Jackson, you can skip over egg number two for now now egg number three that's going to require you to go into conquest so for this make sure that you've got catfish hunter in your lineup because you are going to need to get parallel xp with him for a later egg once he's in your lineup go to single player conquest and choose any conquest that you want whether you're still working on nation of baseball it doesn't matter and take over a stronghold once you've done that you will get egg number three all right now egg number four is going to be tough for some players but i swear you give it enough time and you'll be able to get this done i'll show you a tip or two all right, so for this egg, you are going to have to go into Battle Royale, draft the lineup, all of that, and you are going to have to get a home run with anyone in a Battle Royale. For people that don't play BR at all, here's what I would recommend when you are drafting your lineup. Choose players that have quite a bit of pop, either on the left or right side, depending on you know, who you get to choose from. For example, I got to choose Sammy Sosa, and he was the one that easily hit the home run for me. So if you have options at the diamonds, gold, silvers, all of that, make sure you are choosing cards that have a lot of pop. Eloy Jimenez, for example, as a silver card, even though he's only got sub-80 power, his swing is really good. As a 76, Nelson Cruz was another good option. So just make sure that you've got power hitters in your lineup. Now, if you struggle with the plate online and you just completely avoid it entirely, that's fine. You don't need to complete this egg. You can do egg number two, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. But in all honesty, guys, even if you play semi-regularly, you should be able to get the home run done. Sit up and in. If you haven't watched my hitting tips video, go watch that. But don't stress if you can't complete this. But this is the next one, in my opinion, that you should go out and finish because it doesn't take very long. You're going up against bronze and silver pitchers, so remember that as well. Okay, so once you've hit your home run, now you've got three eggs and you have able to unlock the 96 Alex Bregman. That's going to be big as well because, again, getting parallel XP with cards from this program is also one of the eggs. And that's going to come up in just a little bit. So for egg number five, all you've got to do is play a ranked game. I just went into a 1v1. I was able to win pretty handily. It was literally my first ranked season game on my no money spent team. And again, if you struggle online, that's fine. It does appear that you don't have to win the game. Just don't quit out. If you want to use Catfish Hunter to work towards your parallel XP, go ahead. You're probably going to get mashed if you play someone that's half decent. But it's not necessary because, again, you're going to have to do something that's going to get you a lot of parallel XP in just a little bit anyways. And the one thing to remember while you're doing your ranked season game to get this egg finished is that egg number six is going to require you to get five walks in any mode. This is accumulated. You don't need to do it all in one game. It can be in any mode, but if you're going into rank seasons just be extremely patient at the plate and again if you don't care about your your ranked record you could probably just sit and not really swing at all or not really swing until two strikes for example and you're going to get quite a few walks that way but again it's not necessary it's just you're trying to kill two birds with one stone but egg number six is going to require you to get five walks all right next up is egg number seven and for this one you should have at least five eggs now depending on if you were able to hit the br home run and we skipped egg two and again i'll show you why in just a minute this next one is going to require you to get a thousand parallel xp with program cards meaning that in your lineup you need to have catfish hunter alex bregman and then if you have five you'll have gregory soto now obviously you can't pitch them both at the same time so what i would do is just have bregman and catfish hunter in your lineup and what you're going to do is you're going to throw them into a brand new lineup then you're going to go over to single player modes you're going to go to play cpu and you're going to play the baltimore orioles now this can be done on rookie 
on veteran, whatever you want it to be on. The harder the difficulty, the more parallel XP you get. But I got about 800 by playing on rookie and actually trying to hit and pitch with Catfish Hunter as well as Bregman. You can leave it on rookie and just leave Catfish in the game the entire time, but you've got to play a nine inning game against the Orioles. You can also do this against the Blue Jays as well as the Cardinals, but just go with the Orioles. I do want to mention that it looks like you've got to win that game. So again, if you choose rookie, it's going to be very, very simple. Also, if you're struggling to get the walks done, you can play it on rookie and just not swing. Eventually, you'll just fall into five walks. That's exactly what I did. All right, so once you've done the CPU game against the Orioles, you're going to get hidden egg number eight, completing the 1,000 parallel XP. That's going to give you egg number seven. For egg number nine, you've got to go back into events. So go into events. Now, currently, it is quick counts, guys. So again, if you are struggling to get walks or you just want to rush through it, this might be the best mode to do it in because if you don't care about winning or losing, sometimes you'll get into 3-0 counts or 2-1 counts, and you can just wait and see if your opponent will just miss the zone. But it doesn't appear you have to win or lose. It doesn't really matter. I played a game I did win, and I got it on my first try. I've seen other people in my community that lost, and they actually got it. So play events and enough and you'll eventually get it doesn't seem to take very long all right so now once you have egg number nine by completing the events egg if you were able to hit the br home run congrats you've got reggie jackson and george springer the only thing you're missing is the 3000 xp and the universal profile icon if this isn't super important to you then you don't have to rush out and get it but if you were not able to hit the home run in br well let's go over how you get egg number two all right, for this, you've got to go over to mini seasons. You've got to choose the classic mode. And again, if you don't care about the little profile icon and you like don't like playing offline, then that's why I said you can skip egg number two because you've already got Reggie Jackson. Again, you can do this at any time. I know me personally, I'm not a huge fan of offline play, so that's why I skipped it. However, to get this egg, what you've got to do is beat four separate teams. Now, there has been some confusion on this. Some have said they just won four games against four separate teams. Some have said they needed to play against four separate teams and win that were on different continents. So if you want to just play it safe, you can go ahead and make sure you're playing teams on different continents. So just make sure that you only play one of the Soul Singers or Tokyo Kaiju, and as well as only one of the London Lords or the Liechtenstein Whales. Once you've got that done, that is going to give you egg number two, and that will complete the program for you. Or if you weren't able to get the BR home run, this will give you Reggie Jackson. I hope this helps, guys. Let me know in the comments section down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.